Okay, checking if this works. Hey, there's people. Hey, what's up? I'm from the ukuleles, the most of you might know me from the ukuleles, you know? So in general, I play with Andy, <laughs> but Andy is not here. Um, Andy, I miss you, I don't know where you are at this point, but you know, um, yeah, we try to slowly come back to Instagram and Julian and Primoz from Flight Ukulele, they offered me to do a live stream according to, yes, this. So I cannot wait to go for this. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of information. Um, hey, hey from, oh, hey from Switzerland. So you are our neighbors. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, well, I think I'm gonna start with a very, very important uh, information. So you know that Flight Ukulele did a few flight school workshops in the last couple of days. So there is, there was Matt from, from you can, uh, you can Uke, there was Danny. Uh, who else was the, um, I think there was Peter Moss, who else was there, um, also Simon, Ukulele Simon from the UK, you know, he did a very nice workshop of uh, percussive style and yeah, playing the percussive ukulele and also how to, how to, yeah, how to, to play other chords, I think something like that. So you got a huge chance to learn something different, you know, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to shred today. And um, yeah, so this is why I really want you to tell you a lot of very important things. Hi there. Oh my goodness. There are so many people. Um, hi, can I wave at you? Oh, this is so fine. Hey, what's up? Okay. Yeah. And the point is like, um, I, w I really want to be honest with you because, you know, um, in the last couple of years I played the ukulele so for almost three years now and in the beginning I of course like a lot of people do they experience a lot of different techniques and you see those those virtuoso, virtuoso ukulele players I'm so nervous <laughs> so in fact you really have to know is that I'm German I'm a German girl I'm from Germany and sometimes I do I do mistakes in English um, the most of you might say now, yeah, it's fine, we understand you, but if there is anything you're not understand, please tell me. I really want to try to help you how to 
how to approach to this technique. And um, first of all, there are a lot of different tutorials already on, in, uh, on YouTube and all these wonderful pages. But yeah, well, I guess I will not show you now this technique, like how to shred and then say goodbye, because there is way more to tell, you know, there is way more to tell, um, which I wish that someone have told me in the past. But yeah, I, I went through it by myself and I really want to talk with you about my experience and the way to shred and I really make you feel comfortable about shredding. So yeah, that's why we start with the structure. So I think Juliana got the last couple of minutes before I went live. So the point is like, I was so stressed um, <laughs> because I tried to do a structure of my workshop. And in the last minute, I, I realized that I had to print it like not upside down, but you know, um, actually it looks the wrong way. Um, it's like a mirror right now. I don't know how to express it in, in English actually, but I think you understand what I mean. Dankeschön, Michelle. Ich versuche nicht nervös zu sein. <laughs> genau. So, uh, but I still try to do it in English, you know. So, my structure is, I want to tell you what shredding is. Because, you know, um, in the guitar scene, shredding is something different. Um, I, I want to teach you not how to shred on left hand, like to do the best solos, uh, solely. Um, but I want to show you the right hand technique, how to approach to the right hand and, you know, with those nails and of course without nails. That was a very important thing I wanted to, to mention from the very first beginning. You don't need those nails. You can use, you can use those picks. Okay. So one good thing, but we're going to talk about this later. Hey, Lynn. <laughs> hey, Tony. So yeah. Um, this is why I really want to talk with you about what shredding is. Then, yeah, I think I'm gonna start with this right now. So guys, um, when I started playing the ukulele, I saw all those huge and big players all around the world, you know, like, of course, Jake Shimogukuro, Taimani Gardner, um, and I also had the pleasure to, to do a workshop, I mean, to have a workshop. Um, so Taimani Gardner told me a few things, um, but I do my own workshop right now. So I try to show, to, to explain you more important details that I didn't know. So yeah. And the point is like the first time when I hear somebody shredding was when a guitarist, it was a former guitarist in Manu Chao's band. This is why I played Me Gustas too. So his name is Majid Fahim and he's, he's how I already said, like um, a guitarist and he did this shredding technique by right hand and it was so awesome and I really needed to check this out and of course when I approached to the ukulele three years ago, um, yeah, I also found another people like they, they shred like, wow, I was like, I really want to do this too, but it was not that easy in the beginning, you know. Um, hi Ilya, oh my goodness, by the way, it's Ilya's birthday today so happy birthday Ilya it's the 4th of July I'm gonna I, I have a very special surprise for you but in the end so it's up to you if you watch it until the end or not <laughs> and um yeah so um first of all to finish this or to cut a, a long story short it's very important that you have a role model but it's also very important to know that all those ukulele players around the world um, they don't shred the same, like they use different fingers. So for example, Jack Shimabukuro uses his thumb and a lot of, I think also maybe Timmy is here, Timmy Cruz. I think he also uses his, his thumb, but, um, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. Timmy's there. Hey, Timmy. Um, yeah. And also like, uh, Tamani Gardner uses a pick, but also her nails and, um, it's crazy because there is another musician, his name is Conrad, he's from Conrad Cayman Musics and uh, we had a conversation a couple of months ago, it was about the shredding technique, so the point is like, um, he <laughs> shredded with this hand here, something like this, so he was able to shred like this, so his fingers have been in the air, you know, and this is what I really yeah, I'm not able to do this, honestly. So I'm gonna teach you today my version of shredding, you know? 
All right, I hope I told you everything which was important. <laughs> I'm so nervous, guys. Ah, it's the right thing. The second point is get to know your instrument. Guys, I tell you something very important now because you know, you already saw, you already saw my beautiful custom ukulele and I plugged this in, but I'm not gonna shred on this ukulele today. I'm gonna shred on this ukulele today because that's still my favorite. And I tell you a little story. I mean, not a long story because I know that you wanna learn something, you know? And um, when I found this ukulele, I mean like, I fell in love with this ukulele in 2019 when I met uh, Julian and Primoz at the Austrian Ukulele Festival. And it is not only such a beautiful instrument, but I love the way how this ukulele speaks to me. I don't know if uh, this, is, this is easy to understand, but you know, an ukulele or an instrument does not always mean like, for example, this ukulele that you just have to play those strings. Like ukulele Simon did, he also told you, uh, yeah, told you or taught you how to use, uh, to use the whole corpus by itself, you know. And there is also something good to know. Like, I love this not full headstock, by the way, because I'm gonna show you a very nice thing I really love. <laughs> so um, yeah, so there are way more ways. <laughs> to play your instrument and it's also the same with shredding so if you want to shred you can shred right over the sound hole but also for example this is another shredding than this do you hear this it sounds more sharp in that way you see so again do you understand what i mean guys so actually i wanted to tell you one more thing um i really hope that you're not just in front of the screen i also hope that your ukulele is with you because your ukulele wants to be played <laughs> and so this is why i really i i really want to motivate you to get to know your instrument. This is so important because it offers you way more ways to, to play or to learn a technique. That was step number one. And I wanna give you this out of my experience, you know? Okay, there are people, yeah, texting yes, yes. Thank you so much for agreeing. I hope you agree. So um, it's not always easy to, to read all those comments, but yeah, it's right next to me. Very, very good. Um, I'm very happy to see it. So. The next thing, um, of course, is this topic, right? This nail topic. And um, I'm not sure, but a lot of people are afraid and like um, having those nails or that they think, okay, I really need acrylic nails, you know? So I have acrylic nails, like a lot of players do. So some players also have just one finger. Um, but I just want to tell you, like, if you watched a lot of people playing or shredding, yeah, don't, don't be scared or something like this. Um, you don't have to put acrylic on your nails, but it helps a lot to be flexible, you know? It's very, very important for me to stay flexible and maybe when you use your, your natural nail, it will be filed down at the end of the lesson. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is very important to know, but you can also use, you know, um, wow, well, the light is very crazy. You can use this. I never used this, this is so embarrassing. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so I, you can use this thumb pick. What is it called? What is it called? I'm not sure. Hello from Brazil. Aloha. Very nice. And there is also the normal pick, right? And you see, so everything is possible, like with your nails and also with the pick. Nice. Um, I use a pick like that. Yeah, perfect. So you can use whatever, you know, whatsoever. It's totally fine what you use, but be sure that it doesn't hurt you. It might hurt in the beginning. I'm not sure about this actually. So um, 
but yeah do what makes you feel comfortable even if your role model plays something different or plays in a in another way if even if your role model says or you see how your role model plays with just acrylic nails it doesn't mean like you have to play with acrylic nails this is also very important so there is always ah Ilya, i use my thumb it's more convenient okay yeah this is this is a good example because i'm not able to shred with my with my thumb so like the point is like i have a lot of resistance here maybe i do it wrong or you should do it di diagonal but yeah I'm, I'm not used to it so i'm gonna teach you my technique today um i really hope that it's not too crazy or not too difficult for you but yeah so that was another very very important point okay let's see what is on our structure list <laughs> so we had the shredding what is it get to know your instrument so i'm gonna repeat this and i'm gonna i, I really i really wanna emphasize it you know get to know your instrument because there are way more possibilities to play on your instrument and um, I'm going to buy acrylic nails to be like my role model. Ha 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 to me. Ha ha ha. It was so funny that you text said this. <laughs> so yeah. And um, well, so grab your instrument. I'm going to teach you now how to shred. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people like you already know how to shred. But I'm going to go from the beginning. And I really hope that you can follow me. If there are any questions... I'm not sure, like in this uh, settings or yeah, in those settings are like cards or I don't know, like question cards or what is it? I don't know. Just put your question in the chat. I can see or I try to see anything. And um, yeah, let's do this. All right. Okay. So I'm going to shred on this beautiful Mustang. What do you want to have? Do you want to, do you guys want me that I show you to shred with my nails or with a pick. What do you want? Okay, a lot of hearts. I think I'm gonna begin with the... I think I'm gonna begin with the... with my nails. Actually, why not? Those nails are my my ways to shred, so I'm gonna teach you how how I shred with my nails. So the point is I repeat it again, you don't have to buy or you don't have to have acrylic nails, but I think it's very usable and you are very flexible, but you can also use a pick, you know? So if you're going to shred, I think it's better when you come a little bit closer, you're so far away. You're so far away. Okay, you're more there. Okay, nice. Do you see this? Perfect. Do you see this? Do I expect an answer? <laughs> I don't think so. So the point is like, you see a lot of people um, how to shred. I think it's very important that we, we choose one string in the beginning. And of course, the most easy one is the A string, right? So I think it's also very, very mm. difficult to shred on the G string. You can do it by yourself, but we start on the A string. And maybe I start like this because one of the most important things is like, um, I'm not a player. Um, which is or who is able to play in the air, mm. I always need a stability. So this is why I put my fingers right over here. So above the sound hole, above the sound hole, is that right? <laughs> so you understand what I mean. Um, you can also use your pinky or your index finger. I think it's very important that you have a stability there um yeah to just that your finger stuck there and you cannot like um i show you what i real exactly mean in the next couple of seconds so when i shred i try this is so difficult i didn't try it out in the beginning so i think okay actually i think you can see it like this so the point is when you shred you use your finger, you know, or you pick, doesn't matter. You scratch the A string. Like left, right, left, right, left, right. And the point is, if you feel a lot of resistance, you have to change the angle a little bit. Like that it's not straight anymore because you feel the resistance, you know. 
it's like I think it's more it's like a soap it's more how a soap is like you know <laughs> maybe it's a it's a strange uh, way to explain it but this is my way to explain it because I'm not a teacher you know so I hope you understand what I mean so this is very important so we gonna go through the A string again together like very 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 low like very slowly one two three four one two three four five six seven eight and you try to go faster And when you go faster, you feel like you don't have to go against the string again. It's more like, um, it's more like you, your finger does it by yourself, you know? I don't know if you feel it. If you don't feel it, you have many, uh, maybe too, too much resistance, you know? Like, then try to hold it a little bit like this in another, you, you see it? So instead of this, turn it a little bit like this, then there is less resistance. And if you go faster... Actually, I'm not even moving my finger like too much up and down. I just stay at the same position. Yeah, at the exact same position and try. So we tried with the pick now. I think maybe you can see it better with the pick too. So let's grab the pick. If you have the pick, I'm also hold it like, you know, like instead of my index nail, I'm gonna hold it like this. And I still put my finger on this part of on the ukulele that I have the the used I mean like the stability here and then I try to do it again. Are you ready? I think we're gonna stand up. Maybe from the side. So I just scrap against the surface, you know, that I just go, not much, and you try to go faster. So you see it also works with the pick, but I think it's also, you know, I, I don't know if it works for you right now because there are also a lot other different um, details to to consider. For example, this thing, finger thing. Maybe I go back now to to the beginning. If you gonna if you wanna learn this technique, I recommend you to find a position where your finger is stable because you need for uh, I need a stability to shred, you know, um, and to shred flexible like. This finger gives me a special radius, you know, you have also an influence a little bit on it, but it stops when, you know, there are also other strings and it's difficult sometimes to not hit all of them. Like, you see, and if I'm in the air, I have no influence which strings I'm gonna play, you know? So it's very important to stick still there, all right? and your finger gives you a special radius. Is that the right expression? Radius sounds, I think, very good in this, uh, an anchor, basically. Yeah, okay. So, we're gonna do this again. I never did this before, so I think Andy, so you know my ukulele duo partner, he always says like, okay, let's do it again, and Three, two, one, and one, two, one, two, one, two. Just scratch it, you know? It's the very upper surface. And we try to get faster. And if there is resistance, try to turn a little bit your ukulele. Try to get faster and slowly again. Make sure 
to still play this A string from each side, you know? Left, right, left, right, left, right. And try to do it faster. So, I hope you understand this main thing. So, I really want you to ask if you understand until now everything I tried to teach you. So, this is very important. So, give me feedback, guys, if this is understandable. But yeah, when you have this ukulele here, so even with this pick or not, it should look like this. And again, this finger gives you stability. You can also like, I already um, talked about Conrad from Conrad K Music and he shreds like here, he puts his whole wrist here and shreds in the air. And I cannot, I, I'm not that flexible. I cannot do this and even not with a thumb. So Jake Shimabukuro uses his thumb, right? Um, so I cannot use the thumb. I'm not like this, you know? So this is why I really recommend you to use this finger, but it's really up to you. You can use everything what you want. It's very important that you find your own way to shred. <laughs> so. Once again, first with a nail, put your finger here that you have the radius, you know, and the stability and try to scratch, to scratch this A string and try to get faster. You can also try to, to stay a little bit more quiet, you know, it gives you mo also more stability and then to go loud. Getting acrylic on right hand right after quarantine. Yeah, well, actually, um, you can also use the pick. Um, I think I mentioned that a lot of times before, so we do it again with a pick. So this is the pick. It's a little bit difficult to see because, you know, my nails are also white. And if you want to learn a song, Larissa, please check the question box when you have a moment. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to tell you, that I'm not, like, I have not this overview, but I get used to it, okay? So let's check this, where I have to put my finger. Ah, question box, okay. Um, okay, this question. For how many years you've been playing ukulele? Three years and I tried to find my own way. So um, I'm gonna tell you again something later. So I'm gonna go back to this question later. But um, okay, another question of this question box. How long did it take for you to shred good? So it depends. I tell you another very important fact. Maybe I go now to another point. This is also a very important point. Like it was very important for me not to show you just yeah, the technique of shredding, but also like, you know, um, this is right, discoveries and details, what is good to know. So the point is like Juliana and I, we try to discuss about the right expression. So the point is, there are some very important influences on the way how you shred. And you know, when I was busking in the beginning, you should know that I was not that very good at it. When I was shredding in the beginning and tried to busk on the streets, so when w that was my part, when I played with Andy, I always tried to, you know, find something like a stone where I can put my feet on, then I have the stability and just stuck in there and then I was able to shred like this. But there are a lot of different players who are able to shred while they're moving. And I tried to figure it out how, what or yeah, what was the reason that I was not able to, to, to move that flexible and to shred at the same time. And nobody could give me an answer to this. And I was like, okay, well, okay, so I have to figure it out by myself. And the point is, this is a very very interesting detail for you and um, it's very interesting for you if you have a strap and if you're using a strap okay wait 
It seems you have better control without anchor. It's uh, is it a good one? Okay, so the point is, I had an ukulele where my strap pin was not there, but there. So on this spot here, you see this? And when your strap, when your strap sticks to this pin right over here, then it goes away very, 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 very often, you know, and there was the problem. It was not good for me to have the strap here because when the strap is like fixed here and not here, the ukulele is moving because, you know, I have not the most straight belly and um, it's moving. Of course, I, I, I want to be honest with you. So the point is, if I hold this ukulele here and try to shred, you see the ukulele is moving. I don't have any stability and um, yeah, that was it. So I figured out since I had this Mustang ukulele that I put the strap here. And you can see now, you have to, to find the right position. Whatever I'm doing, the ukulele is not moving that much, you know. It's stable because it's pushed against my body. Do you see this? It's pushed against my body. So this pin is right over here and not over here. So it's fixed to my body and there is stability. And now I'm flexible to shred. Like I don't have to, to, to deal with the fact that my ukulele is constantly moving but I can shred no more, way more flexible. Like... So that's, that was my biggest, biggest influence. Um, and that was like a click into my brain, like, okay, wow, I am able to shred without a stone on, you know, on the floor <laughs> where I had to put my food and just to stay flex, uh, just to stay stable that I can shred this ukulele for my solo part. So I'm now way more flexible with this strap situation. So make sure that your pin, that your strap pin is right over here and not over here because when the ukulele moves, you really have to deal with this, you know? So that was the first point. So come closer again. I want to check all those comments below. <laughs> so gotta go, but thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. It is my first workshop. So I really hope that you understand everything. Um, what I was going to tell you, can you play a song? Actually, I can play a song in the end. So we already have 33 minutes. Wow. Okay. The, the time flies really. It seemed to have better control. Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you show us how to strum really, really fast? Okay, should, okay. If I can show you how to shred really, really fast, how to strum really, really fast. Like, I mean, maybe you know this, right? Actually, it's, it's the level up to the shredding. So when you stand here and you try to shred this, also shred you can also like um, giving your finger more space and more radius and you can also shred th those other strings like so it's now the E string and the A string G string and now that makes no sense so this is why can you can also do this like and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I recommend you, despite of the things I told you, to have acrylic nails. Because <laughs> when you do this hummingbird thing, I call it hummingbird. I don't know why, because, you know, a hummingbird is flying very, very fast. And, you know, those wings are so, so, so fast. And this is why I call it hummingbird. But if you want to shred like this, like all those strings, you can also use whole, whole, your whole hand. And don't move your arm but move your wrist, like turn it, you know, but not that much. It's like, just use your index finger and also try to get faster, you know, without moving your arm, just your wrist and getting faster. short 
perfect sample how to do the hummingbird. I call it hummingbird, you know, but you, you mean this fast drumming, of course. So acrylic nails, just the index finger. I don't know if this is also possible with that thing on the... No, I think it's not usable in that way because it's made for the thumb, you know. So, yeah. So, okay. So we are about 36 minutes now. And um, I hope that you understand or that you understood stood to now everything I was going to teach you. Um, to summarize all those things again. Are you ready to summarize all those things because, uh, before having the last questions and yeah, just try to talk about it? Um, I try to tell you again the most important things for me in learning this shredding technique or yeah, I mean like... It's totally normal to have a role model and it's very important to have a role model, but Again, if you see all those ukulele players and beyond, like also like in the guitarist scene and all this wonderful stuff, you know, um, you will find out, you will, you will figure out that everybody goes through another path. So you have to find out what makes you feel comfortable. So do I want to play with acrylic nails or just with a pickup, you know? And um, there is a difference in treading over the sound hall. <laughs> and right under the bridge. You hear this? This is why first I recommend you get to know your instrument way better because there are so many possibilities to play this instrument, not, not only shredding those strings, you know. So first. Second, always remember if you want to stay flexible in shredding, this strap pin should be right over there that this ukulele stuck to your body. It gives me way more stability. You see this? The ukulele is not even moving, so I'm, so I'm able... You see it? I'm so, so, so flexible when the ukulele is stuck onto my body. So it's very important that your strap pin is right over here and not right over here. You see it? So another thing is, take your time. I, was, I showed you very quickly how to shred. There are also a lot of YouTube tutorials, but they show you just the technique. And I don't want to put the whole attention on this technique because you will figure it out by yourself what is necessary. So if it's the index finger or the thumb or if you shred with something else, I don't know if there is something else. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really up to you. And I really want to motivate you to find your own way because it takes a little bit of time. And um, if you put your mind to it, everything will be possible, I promise. Because, you know, I play I play for for three years now and um, I approached to this instrument very very fast because I really wanted to to experience what to do with this instrument and it's so 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 important that that you don't put pressure on yourself and I did this several times and that's not always healthy and we all know this right so go and remember you every single day that it's such a beautiful way to experience an instrument like the ukulele and that's it, you know. All right. So the last point was any questions, but I think I'm gonna do something very special now for Ilya because he waited so long for this. I don't know if I'm able to shred happy birthday, but um, okay, let's, let's try and figure it out if this works. Mm -hmm. Not shred this. Okay, that was uh, not the best performance, but let me sing a German version of Happy Birthday to you. 
And actually, I'm also not the best singer, but um, you have to go through this now. It's Ilya's birthday! <laughs> Zum Geburtstag, viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag, viel Glück. Zum Geburtstag, lieber Ilya. Happy birthday, Ilya. I'm so sorry for my <laughs> very bad performance. But I wish you the best from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, guys, actually, that's it. I wanted to ask you if there are some other questions before I leave now. Um, thank you so much for watching. But okay, let's let's check those questions first. What ukulele strings do you use? So this is a very important question because, you know, I was always um, searching for good ukulele strings and uh, I found very, very special once in uh, in Freiburg, the city where I live, it's in Germany, and I'm pretty sure that you also know those strings. It's I think it's very common. Um, they're called Oasis, bright, warm, or warm, bright, or something like this. So Oasis is uh, yeah the answer for me. I'm pretty good with them, and it's you know it's it's also low low G. You can also buy it um, with a high G. So then it sounds like this. But I, of course, have a low T, you know, and um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to use uh, always Oasis strings. How many ukuleles do you own? Okay, well, that's also a good question. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, around seven, seven. I have also a kindergarten ukulele. So this ukulele is not always with me, but in the kindergarten, I'm a kindergarten teacher, by the way. <laughs> And um, yeah, so around seven, so this is pretty normal. I mean, like, so actually the best number of instruments you own is about the instruments you already have plus one. That is my answer. Okay, let's go to the other questions. Can you show... What? Can you show us on the second string? So do you mean to shred? What do you exactly mean? So I put this question again. Can you show us on the second string? So can you repeat this question? I think I didn't get this. Um, you have three ukuleles. Yeah. Wound or unwound low G. It's a wound low G. So it's like... You hear this? So it's wounded. I love it because it's like... It gives you a little bit more spicy things, you know? Okay. Another thing... What is a good song for beginners to shred? Well, a good song is... I don't know if there is a good song, but you know there are very common songs like Wipeout or Missaloo. And I think I'm gonna like on... Uh, I, I like on Missaloo the way it's going down, you know? This is, for example, a good beginner song because you always shred on the A string, you know? So, Wipeout is also a very good example because I also recommend you, if you really want to shred, like, in a clear way, you should use your finger and just pick it once, like... Like, you, you are going to do this this technique, you know, but... Like, just once. And then you go left and so up and down again. You see it? Maybe I can do it again like this. And then you try to do it faster. So just play it normal and then you can try to approach, yeah, to the faster version, you know? So, for example, this too. So if you have other suggestions, come on, there are so many people. There are over 50 people right now. So it's very nice to see you all. Hey, it's me, Larissa. <laughs> and yeah, so watching those comments, there is also, there are a lot of people and a lot of people from the ukulele community, you know, also Vasco. Hey, Vasco, what's up? And yeah, 
So, other questions before I end this. Can you play a song? Can you play a song? I'm gonna play a song, but there is another question, wait. <laughs> okay, how do you change between all four strings when shredding? That's a very good question. So, most important thing, remember this stability, all right, that the ukulele is not moving that much, that it stuck onto your body, that you have the needed and necessary st uh, stability, you know, to shred. And then, yeah, well, that's a good question. Yeah, I think, or I, yeah, I guess I practice a lot. And um, when you do, for example, the wipeout, like, then you see like the string is open and during this you can change to the other string like then it's open you don't have to push anything and you can start on another string you know i recommend you to switch very very slowly not like in the beginning so <laughs> actually there was a piano teacher from my childhood and she always told me like before you play a song very fast, you should be able to play the song very slowly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, this makes sense. Like really, I definitely recommend you this. Even if I'm a little bit lazy and I also, I should practice way more, you know, like in this way, because I think it's a good, good practice. Like when you try to do it very slowly, You stop there and then you try to get the other string and go back. Try it out, DM me, message me, text me. So if it works or not, I would be so curious, you know, about the results too. So yeah, that was the one question. There is also another question. Lo ah, that is a good question. Lo or high chi? I am changing strings and only have two ukuleles. Well, so one ukulele low and one ukulele high, no? <laughs> I don't know. So it's it's up to you because both sounds very, very nice. I like, actually, I don't know why I liked since the very first beginning the low chi, but you know, it gives you more, more, more more space i don't know how to explain this but both types are very lovely so it's up to you do you play baritone yes i play baritone but not that intense actually this is andy's part um okay for those people who joined in the last couple of minutes i'm larissa from the ukulele leaves actually andy andy is uh, the real teacher so he's teaching um way better than me but Andy is uh, 400 kilometers apart so um, we're gonna meet uh, yeah in the next time and we have a huge surprise for you guys we tried to come back very slowly on Instagram and we needed this time together um, yeah and I cannot wait to reveal you something very special in the future maybe in the next couple of days so stay tuned and yeah in my back what was this <laughs> yeah so actually andy plays way better the baritone because you know the baritone has also other other chords but those are the upper strings from the from the guitar so it's loud it sounds it sounds very nice i love baritone actually so <laughs> so many questions oh my goodness um, are you teaching other techniques than shredding? Well, that was my first one. This is why I really don't know. So let's see how the, how the future goes. So maybe I will teach another thing. I have to think about this. Okay, Vasco asked, what do you prefer, shredding or percussive or both? Okay, time to do a last song and then we will see. We, let's figure it out, Vasco, okay? So I'm gonna take my other custom ukulele because I love the way it's plugged in, okay, are you ready? So, for those who joined the workshop from Simon, I mean the workshop of Simon, um, Simon is uh, way more creative in this way, but I cheated a little bit because 
I also bought, let me show you this. This is actually my set. Can I switch this camera? So there is a loop station and there is, you know, something where the sound so, sounds a little bit better. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I tried to uh, develop my looping skills and I'm gonna show you the song again, which I showed you in the very first beginning. I really love this, you know, uh, the former guitarist of Manu Chao, he was also, he, he shredded, he, he's so awesome. Really, he voted, he motivated me in each way. And uh, that's why I play you um, a Manu Chao song. I, or I try to loop a Manu Chao song and I try to shred again, okay? So let's check this out. And for Vasco, I try to, to combine shredding and percussive style. So let's see how it goes. So guys. Are you ready for this? Okay, now I'm getting nervous. So I'm so not used to it anymore. Andy, by the way, I miss you if you were there. I'm, I'm not sure if you were there, but I miss you, okay? <laughs> so. I think it's a little bit loud. So guys, do you hear me? Okay, I'm gonna go for this. the way this custom ukulele sounds. It's really awesome. There's the double system in it. Okay, eight minutes left. Okay, let's do this. so nervous it's getting so hot here you see my face i'm so sweating so actually guys okay i tried to combine this um that was my result i really hope i could have teach you something if there are any questions please go and text me or i really want you to help you yeah how, how you find your own path in shredding like you know if you shred here or if you shred here or if you shred here sounds so sharp i really love this you know so guys thank you so much for watching my name is larissa i'm from the ukulele leaves so if there are any other questions tell me thank you so much for joining and i really hope that it was a good workshop <laughs> so see you bye okay how do i end this <laughs>